So, here we are, again, with our five hypos and our gun that just, I get a feeling wouldn't be useful anyway. I just booted the game back up, I wanted to check last video, and it was over 50 minutes long. So, not not a bad idea for me to, to come to this moment. Lots of defenses all around. There are, there are. Of course, what I'm still annoyed about is the fact that the game has seemed to just, uh, you know, in addition to recycling the map, has done like a redux of the whole, the brain situation, which was what? Mission... I don't remember anymore. It's only been a few weeks ago. I don't remember. Well, I suppose let's go after this. Just want to make sure I got a good grasp of uh, where the lasers are going to be. Go ahead and tap this. And now here comes the fun part. How the hell do I get past this ship without triggering the lasers? Hmm. Do I somersault across? No. No. Well, I mean, YOLO, right? <laughs> That's right. I busted out a YOLO. Oh God! I'm sorry. So sorry. I know, Shinatama. It's okay. There's nothing you could do. There was a laser that moves right over that now, and it spawned right on top of me. But no, it's the same gimmick. It's the same gimmick. That's actually rather unfortunate for a chapter which has... I actually think is one of the best chapters in the game. That we have to deal with this gimmick again. I'm sure there will be a security level 3 after this too. Well, I've activated everything now. Whee! You stop shooting at me. Okay, so I was just testing out things, folks. The security eventually does die down. That's, that's my excuse, folks. I was testing out things. Yes. Good thing I brought all these hypos with me. I'm sorry. So sorry. Can you imagine me trying to do this shit without any fucking hypos? Wouldn't that be some shit? You know, I barely survived getting to this mission. Or getting to this part, rather. I was about to say, if I somehow escaped getting shot at there, that would have been fucking amazing. I didn't even tap the thing, though. Gonna eat my life energy? No, it's not. Okay, the the lasers do move slower now, though, so that is a thing. It still spawned right on top of my face. How fucking shitty is that? Come on. I bet there's a security level 3 too, folks. Wonder what that includes. Wonder what it includes. Okay. 
I gotta go. Now let's think about how I'm gonna be getting back over there. I'm gonna have to jump across again. Eh. How do I use the YOLO gimmick? I can't do that shit again. <laughs> well, YOLO! <laughs> Oh, God damn it. Nope. I dilly-dallied too long. Oh, God! Whee! Let's just pretend that death didn't happen. <laughs> now I get to do it all over again. Oh, boy! Commander Griffin just sitting back there chillaxing. He's like, yeah, this is the life. You fuckers don't even know. And I have to do these crazy fucking jumps, too. This game was not made for that. Game was not made for crazy jumps. You just gotta choose the, uh, the angle at which you go across it. I'm sorry. Oh. So sorry. Listen, you freak me out whenever you do that shit. Come on, skip the cutscene, please. Skip it. Skip it. Skip it. Shit. Fucking game. Right on top of Kanoko. Right on top of Kanoko. Right on top of Kanoko. Right Fuck you too, game. Fuck you two. Why, why am I back here? Because I'm crazy. I'm crazy, son! Ah! Oh god, I didn't run! Just go, Grimmoth! Just go! <laughs> What do you know? There's a level three, everyone. What does this one involve? Uh, uh, um, hmm. Welp. Griffin, I'm coming for you. I can see you back there. Watching, waiting, hoping that you don't have to pay for your crimes against humanity. But you will, sir. You will. Trust me. You will. Activating security level four. I'm like, what the fuck? Now this one! Nah, this one. <laughs> Let me out. Trust me, Kanoko. My Kanoko, Shinatama. I want to. I want to very much. Another security level? Oh, thank goodness. Emergency override, Griffin Alpha Zero. Emergency override. No, no, stay back. This is a bad idea. Put the gun down. I'm a rogue agent, haven't you heard? Very dangerous. I'm exactly what you wanted me to be. So, how does this end? For you? Badly. That's your call. You can pull the trigger or you can walk away. 
It's up to you. Often the best demonstration of strength is mercy. Choose carefully. Didn't I come in here for information? I came in here for information. I don't really have any information. Instead, I got to see Shinatama reincarnated as some sort of uh, super security system, which took me a few attempts, but I defeated. And Kanoko uh, managed to ninja behind Griffin while he was like, No, stay back! And he had to put down Shinatama. A and the game is like, Kill Griffin or walk away, the choice is yours. Often the best demonstration of strength is mercy. Choose carefully. You know, I was expecting more epicness from Griffin here, given, you know, what we ended up seeing in the Dreamland. But as it turns out, he's kind of a weak pushover. Let me see here. So, Mom's dead. Dad's dead. A chrysalis is growing inside of me, and of apparently my brother, who is Boss Miro, head of the Syndicate. You've trained me and basically molded me to be your own super weapon since I was at a very young age, but decided that I'd become growing too dangerous. So, this android simulated live doll that had been bonding with me the entire time, um, you self-destructed her in an attempt to kill me. The past several missions have been you all attempting to kill me, in addition to hiding the truth, courtesy of the fact that you are a completely inept uh, agency that is working for a dystopian government. Now, if I kill him, am I going to have to do this entire fucking mission over... Like, not mission, but am I going to have to do this entire defeat the security systems over again? You know what? It might be worth it. I might just kill him. Because <laughs> I just want to see... It's honestly how I feel in my heart. It's like, yeah, you can be merciful. You can be good. You're not the same as that crazy ninja guy whose neck you snapped at the last minute. No. I'm someone completely different. But such blithe lack of concern here for... See, now you get into this whole interesting philosophical debate. Time out, everyone. I got like 40 minutes to fucking talk here. Let's, let's think this over. So, Konoku here has been trained as a weapon. Trained to uh, follow orders. Um, it's just so interested in going out and doing missions uh, for the TCTF, Technology Crimes Task Force which is an agency set up by the World Coalition government, the WCG. Now, you could go after some sort of whole poignant situation here, where, you know, she's not actually a weapon, she's a human being, the chrysalis isn't turning her into some sort of monster, it's okay, you know, Griffin here is unarmed, we took his gun, he's completely helpless, there might be some sort of final security pro protocol that's instituted after his death that kills us, or, worse yet, someone might come in to replace Commander Griffin, who is more competent than him. <laughs> and who decides to do more intelligent things than, say, design a fucking elevator chute in his office? Although, to be fair, it did save him from Kanoko, right? But at the same time, think of how much evil and how much terror this Commander Griffin might have brought onto the world himself. Something the, uh, the Hitman says in that one remix I play a lot for the Liberal Crime Squad stuff, as well as the Starzoo stuff I did, and it's uh, one, of my, uh, one of my more favorite remixes. Let's see, uh, I am a killer, and I always have been. You know, uh, I've never had a choice. Uh, blood has always been a part of my diet since day one. Taking another man's life, all I can say is that it's easier and more difficult than you might imagine. Hmm. I'm actually giving this serious consideration. Good job, Bungie. You know, I'm actually playing along with the game. I'm giving the idea serious merit and thought. We can obviously tell, you know, we can obviously see what direction Bungie wants you to go.
I have four hypos. Kill Griffin or walk away. Often the best demonstration of strength is mercy. The best demonstration of strength... Okay, let's go over this. Now, you always know these situations where it happens in uh, so many forms of fictitious media. It's like, I could kill you, but instead, I'll let you go free. We'll put you in prison, you know, or you'll have to be, you'll be sent before a court, and you'll be made to, you know, be judged harshly and everything, too. Batman did that so many times. He's actually a great example of that. Uh, Joker, Penguin, Mad Hatter, Poison Ivy... Catwoman, Mr. Freeze, you know, all those other miscreants that got put away in Arkham Asylum to spend the rest of their lives there, except it's easier to get out of Arkham's Asylum than it is your mom. <laughs> and suddenly there'd be a massive jailbreak at Arkham Asylum, and everyone would go free. And they would terrorize people and attempt to take over Gotham City and the world again. And he'd go all around, you know, he'd put them all back up. There's an interesting little diagram of how Batman fits in with all of the nine Dungeons and Dragons alignments from lawful good all the way down to chaotic evil. It's interesting, which way. You know, isn't that an ultimately bad choice? People are suffering, right? No, it was never up to me. You did this. You made my own uncle put this thing inside me. You lied to me, betrayed me. You are a monster. And now, I'll take care of Murrow myself. Now we were told that the uh, the chrysalis would ultimately take on the uh, the final features of the person, whoever he or she was, the very end when it was fully matured. I wonder what what will become of it now. She is pissed. <laughs> Infiltrate the mountain compound and unearth Murrow's machinations. You won't last long if you don't help yourself with the Syndicate's best weaponry and supplies. Let's see here. Mur mm, nope. Murrow's men have been up to something big. They have made secret heavy machinery shipments and infiltrated atmospheric conversion centers all over the world. Ironically, this may be the thing that Griffin had been preparing me for. I don't know what Mira's building, <clears throat> but at least I know where. The tracker readings from his plane project him project him touching down somewhere deep in the mountains. I know what I am now, and what my brother is, and I also know that, whatever he's doing, I'm the only person who can stop him. Next time on Let's Get All the Oni. I now I don't know whether I want to continue this session now. This is a rather poignant uh, turning point here after that rather dull and rehashed boss battle. Anticipation to see what happens next would actually do me some good as well. Yeah, we'll end the session here. Take care, everyone. Talk to you later.